Good morning, and as we go live with worship here at First Lutheran Church in Galesburg. chance to look up the hymn, Thy Holy Wings. It is just the sweetest uh, nighttime uh, blessing. There we go. Yeah, I stay on top of things. <laughs> so we're singing it today. You'll, you'll find out. Uh, that's, that's me on Daylight Savings Time. <laughs> Uh, we'd like to uh, welcome you all to worship on this Lord's Day, and uh, I know many of you have um, the Ukraine on your minds and your prayers, and I'd like to invite Myrna Anderson to come up and uh, talk about some ways that we can help. Thank you, Pastor. You have some things in your bulletin that can, that can help and flesh this out a bit. And I'm going to sort of just give you an overarching, uh, some overarching thoughts. When our council met last week, we were heart sick with what is going on in Ukraine. We as a council are united in our commitment to help our congregation minister to our brothers and sisters there. As World War II ended, Luthers in at least 20 states came together to find a way to help their brothers and sisters in war-torn Europe. In 1945, they formed Lutheran World Relief to help poverty, who out end poverty, injustice, and human suffering in the world. I am just sure that people here at First Lutheran mobilized to help in this compassionate ministry at that time. It's in our DNA. After 72 years of service, Lutheran World Relief continues to minister to sisters and brothers in desperate circumstances around the world. We know about it. We participate in it. We make clothes. We pack health kits and, and school kits, and we donate to Lutheran World Relief. At the formation of the ELCA, ELCA disaster response was initiated to be our special vehicle for helping in times of disaster. Right now, at this moment, both organizations are on the ground in Europe working for us. Offering envelopes are available. There's, in your bulletin, there's one here. Um, also, on the back of this community course flyer, there's a situation report that tells about what's going on and where we're at. 
we hope to find some matching funds so that monies we give can multiply, enabling us to make a greater impact. The church will track donations so if we have matching funds, we know how much, how much additional help we can generate. The church promptly will send the checks to disaster relief or LWR. And I can tell you that 100% of what we give will be used for disaster relief, especially in the ALCA part of it. And together, we will make a difference. Now is the time for us to step up and do all that we can to provide hope, relief, compassion, and aid to people made ravaged by war. First Lutheran helped in the 40s, in the 1940s. Now, years, years later, it's our turn to minister to war ravaged brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Norma. Um, it's good to be a part of a church that already has the infrastructure in place to make a difference um, when, when we all feel so helpless. Um, as Lauren mentioned, we will be sending donations on uh, when they come into the church office. Do send your um, offerings to the church office. Mark checks on um, Lutheran World Relief or LWR, and we will track those so that as we seek um, matching funds, we can do that. Also, if you've given online or if you plan to give online, just um, drop a copy of your receipt off at the church office, and we can track that as well for matching funds. Thank you all for your generosity and your concern. We continue with the gathering hymn. 468. <laughs> Have 
mercy on us. Forgive us and turn us again to you. Teach us to follow in your ways. Assure us again of your love. And help us to love our neighbor. Amen. Beloved in Christ, the word draws near you. And all who call out to God shall be saved. In Jesus, God comes to you again and again and gathers you under wings of love. In Jesus' name, your sins are forgiven. God journeys with you and teaches you how to live in love. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. God of the covenant, in the mystery of the cross, you promise everlasting life to the world. Gather all people into your arms and shelter us with your mercy, that we may rejoice in the life we share in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lived and reigned with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The congregation may be seated. A reading from Philippians. 
brothers and sisters, join in imitating me and observe those who live according to the example you have in us. For many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. I have often told you of them, and now I tell you even with tears. Their end is destruction, their God is the belly, and their glory is in their shame. Their minds are set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and it is from there that we are expecting a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will transform the body of our humiliation that it may be conformed to the body of his glory by the power and also enables him to make all things subject to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 13. At that very hour, some Pharisees came and said to Jesus, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. He said to them, Go and tell that fox for me. Listen, I am casting out demons and performing cures today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I finish my work. Yet today, tomorrow, and the next day, I must be on my way because it is impossible for a prophet to be killed outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing. See, your house is left to you, and I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. You can tell in our gospel readings that the movement of Jesus is toward the cross. He speaks of Jerusalem. He is warned not to go to Jerusalem. There were some good Pharisees who knew what Herod was up to, King Herod, and they said, don't go to Jerusalem. Herod wants to kill you. And then Jesus calls Herod a fox. He says, go tell that fox. Listen, I'm casting out demons and performing cures today and tomorrow, and on the third day I finish my work. A prelude to what is coming that third day. But here's what I want to point out to you. Jesus, in other Gospels, he weeps over Jerusalem because Jerusalem doesn't get it. And Jerusalem has been a place of contention for more than 2,000 years now. But Jesus says, how often I've desired to gather your children together 
as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. This is one of the most beautiful illustrations of the feminine nature of God in all of scripture, and there are plenty. But it's such a great story because he calls Herod the fox, okay? The fox is at the hen house. And the hen is not having it. And this is what we have to respond with when the powers of this world seem so overwhelming. When the hatred of this world, when the deaf policies of this world seem so powerful, like mighty King Herod. The mother hen says, I'm not having it. Herod, you fox. This is my brood, my brood, and you are not getting any of it. You are under those wings because Jesus' wings are big and warm and safe. You are under those wings which emboldens you like a child. Say, na 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 boo boo to Herod, because I'm safe. I am safe in the power and the love of God. And that safety gives me the ability to speak out against you, Herod, you fox. How often I have desired to gather your children together. As a hen gathers her brood under her wings. In Jerusalem, you were not willing. Can you imagine the grief of Jesus loving Jerusalem so? loving God's people so, and for the God's people to say, no, we kind of like Herod. Even if he's going to gobble us up, we like his ways. We like the Roman streets, whatever. Brothers and sisters in Christ, last week we talked about the devil being a liar. Well, Herod works for the devil. Okay, the powers of this world. The powers that say, I can fulfill everything for you in this lifetime. I can make you wealthy beyond reason, give you power beyond power. That's just Herod puppeting what the devil has told him to say. Herod is a fox. But you, you belong to the hen. And that hen is not going to let you go. And in the safety of the hen's wings, we can care for one another. We can care for the world. We can send relief to Ukraine. Not only do we have Lutheran world relief, which I, this congregation has supported since the beginning. You know those kits and quilts, man. Every year. We feed the hungry. I want to thank Bob and Amber for making that extra run this week and for everybody who helped unload 
We have a fully stocked food pantry again. We need jelly. Really? And that's, that's a low nutrient dense food. So that's kind of a luxury. But we have lots of peanut butter and very little jelly. So all I have to do is say the word with this congregation. And you tell the fox of hunger. Not here. Not now. If someone is hungry, they come and they are fed. You stand up for each other. When someone is dispossessed or cast out, you stand up. And that is the power of Jesus in you, saying, not now, Herod, not in my house. And yes, Jesus is going to Jerusalem. And we all know how that story ends. It ends with the suffering and cross of Jesus. But it continues on Easter Sunday, where Jesus says, not now, death. This is my house. These are my people. Not now, death. The devil and Herod could promise you all sorts of things in this lifetime. But they cannot promise you eternity. Be safe in our mother hen. And the peace of Christ that passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.
prayers of intercession are on page six of your bulletin. Draw close to the heart of God. We offer these prayers for the church, the world, and all who are in need. You gather the church into a community of mercy and grace. Unify Christians around the globe in efforts to proclaim good news, even in the face of opposition, and to protect those whose lives are imperiled by the gospel. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You create the entire universe and call it good. Hinder those who would cause further destruction to our planet's fragile ecosystems and augment the calls of those who advocate for thoughtful stewardship of the Earth's resources. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You raise up leaders committed to love and justice, nurturing those who govern patience to receive criticism, openness to new ideas, and courage to change course when needed for the sake of the common good. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You hear us when we cry out to you. Attend to those expecting a child and console those who have experienced miscarriage. Comfort veterans in enduring post-traumatic stress. Shield those endangered by domestic violence. Uphold those who are ill or grieving, especially Audrey and Connie. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You kindle faith that moves us into action. Guide children and adults preparing for baptism or confirmation. Empower Sunday school teachers, confirmation leaders, and parents who share their faith with younger generations. Give us all a renewed sense of vocation. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You welcome us into your heavenly realm. We give thanks for those whose labors on earth are ended and who are now rest with you, especially James. On the final day, gather all of us with them in your loving arms. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Accept the prayers we bring, O oh God, on behalf of a world in need, for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Christ to strengthen you and keep you in his grace forever. Amen. Amen. to come to the Augustana College Choir at 4 o'clock. An excellent choir. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Carol. Receive the blessing. You are children of God, anointed with the oil of gladness and strengthened for the journey. Almighty God, motherly, majestic, and mighty, bless you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace. Jesus meets you on the way. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining us for worship here from First Lutheran in Galesburg. Have a blessed week.